keep roasting me on the I'm podcast not channel. You SMH. Why have you not been calling me? Nothing. You've been busy. I didn't, I, 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 I thought about you last week, but I'm like, I don't mm. know your schedules. Okay. And your office. The other day I was going to call. I saw that you were going to work. Because no that, that's the thing. You should not be judging my Instagram story by my real life. You should text so me. I'm like, I don't know. So Yana was like, ah, we not here. I said yes to that. I thought about you, but I don't know your this thing. Yes, text me. If you think about me, te- text me like okay. I text you. But thank you. I appreciate that you texted me. And thank you so much for coming to see me today. I appreciate it. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Learning with Girls today. Thank you so much for always listening. Um, on today's episode... We're going to be talking about traveling back home to renew your H1B visa for as many of us who are now in the stages of relinquishing our F1 student visa to getting work visa. And with me here, I have Busy B. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, this is Busanya here. Yes, and yeah, and um, let's jump right into this. Ask about me on the streets of Ithaca. They will tell you I'm popular everywhere. I mean, I'm that new Nigeria girl who just came here and has friends in all sects and factions of this university. MBA, graduate students, undergraduate students, PhD students. Like, girl, I'm popular. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the non immigrant Student Podcast. This is the podcast where if I can do it, you can do it too. Hi guys okay we're back now um and before we go before we jump right into it <laughs> like i said before oh my god i need to stop saying that anyway um yes it's been last episode was the out of office episode with my corporate girlies we're at mexico we're in mexico for a wedding and we shared our experiences on why we're still single and what we hope to get out of dating in our late 20s early 30s and hopefully getting married someday but today we're bringing it back to our immigration journeys and Busayo has decided to share with me and with you and I'm, I'm going to hear some of these things for the first time what her experience was like going back home to renew her h1b visa and both of us are from nigeria we live in lagos nigeria and yeah busi introduce yourself hey <laughs> again <guys. laughs> i've been here before but yeah um, i'm busayo I am a business analyst and I Ooh. work for New York City Employees Retirement System. Per. Mm-hmm. Per. <laughs> How long have you been doing that now? I've been working for almost two years. I think about 20 months. Yeah. I think you, you got your job. I got my job. I got my job now. Well, <laughs> I, I got my first job March 28th. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, March 28th. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Okay. And the other one, April 18th. Yes, and then you came to see me in Ithaca. Thank you. Shout out to you and Pearl. Shout out to Pearl. Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah, thanks for introducing yourself, Busi. And she has been here before, actually, but the last episode we had was a very deep episode. It was called The Struggles of non <laughs> <laughs> I want to take down the episode because there were, it was a lot that was going on there. Because really? we talked, that, ah, I had to. I was like, yeah. please, I don't want USCIS issues. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> but I think a lot of people. Actually, I remember people resonating with it because it was part one, part two. Like we talked about how you know we had to fend for ourselves. I mean, then I was not saying school. It was you and Lade? And shout out to you too, Lade. Our yeah. mom of one, <laughs> who is also doing very well on her cosmetic science job in Boston. We love you. We see you. We see all the products that you're launching. And we're so proud of you. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you. Um, What was I talking about now? Your job I've and how here. you got it? Yeah, you've been here before, exactly. Tell for those that are new, please tell them how we met. <laughs> um, Tola and I met in um in 2013 mm-hmm. we attended the same university covenant university and we were classmates and also room, were we roommates in first semester it was second semester yeah, i think yeah. <laughs> but we were classmates um for the first semester and second semester we became roommates mm-hmm. and we became close and now we're and besties for life Sorry, yeah, sorry. Be- to my best. Yes, I out. I was looking for your trouble. I thought you would not answer me. Lord, Lord, Lord. yes. Even though this is our best, I've been taking time off and on. But, oh. <laughs> it's here to stay. Amen. Yes, peace. <laughs> exactly. Please, I also have to add. Besides, I need on this podcast. Please, I need you to admit it that you broke my laptop in hundred level. Right. I will never forgive you. For, so I will you never forget you. I'm actually never going to be on 
on your podcast. You still said this thing. Because like, I need you to admit it, Busaya, that you broke my laptop. I don't know why you cannot just oh, admit it. The Holy Spirit reveals it to me that Jesus I Christ, Busayo. That's how we met, to you guys. That's but, how we met. Wait, no, wait, that's no, 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 wait. No, the point is, okay, sorry. We met in Covenant, yes, we were doing chemical engineering together, and you went to Olashore High School. International. In, international. And hey, let me even tell you my own impression about Busaya, actually, before I go into how she broke my laptop. So, Busaya used to wear nice shirts in class, to class. Remember how we, in Covenant, we had to dress corporately, and used to wear Howie's and Curtis. <laughs> She would like, did you take handbags? Oh, it was just nice shoes. And you had nice dresses too for class. And me, I, I think then I see to wear my old clothes from high school because we graduated. I graduated school July in 2013 and we started at Covenant August 7th, mm -hmm. 2013. And then I was like, who is this girl? And they used to do makeup. So, mm -hmm. Busi, you are also actually the first person who ever introduced me to makeup. I used to come and borrow your lip pencil that time and mm -hmm. your red lipstick, lipstick. your ruby <laughs> I remember you said that we looked alike, so yeah. so that was actually how we became friends, and then we also became ah we were close for the first two years. But see, what even happened that you now left me? Yeah, oh, MG, you are going to say it's because of a man, but so yes. no, you left me. You were moving with Ofori and Faith. Oh, now we're calling names. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay, are you two? You were moving with Sarah and Kende. I was with Sarah and Kende. Joseph. No, let's, no, let's, <laughs> let's give receipts to only, everybody. I only became close with, um, to Sarah and Kende in 400 level. Okay, okay, okay. And no, I, I was close let's, to Shubomi. I was close yes, to you were. But it was, it's just there because of man. No, it's was it because, because you thought, was it, was I too self-righteous that time? I know you, you, but me to have a man in my life then. Not that. You were moving, you had other friends. And like, what, you were what? busy with chaplain civil Okay, yes, or, like, right. Then I, I started taking off things. with and treasure. I became treasure in 200 level and all those things. But anyway, the friendship has been tried and tested and we're still here. Seven Who years later. What am I saying? Ten, Ten years, years later. <laughs> True, we have really survived the storms of life. And hey, back to my laptop. I will not forget. Then we now became roommates in second semester. Omega semester, like we say in Covenant University. I'll be Alpha semester. Omega semester. No, Omega was not. We, entered. we entered in Omega. We entered in Omega. Alpha and Omega. It's Alpha? Okay, alpha yeah, that's true. Semester. Alpha is first semester. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So we became roommates in Omega. <laughs> is that just sounds funny? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Bush lab. Okay. Then in October. <laughs> If we became roommates in the second semester, Omega semester, and then you were on the up bunk, I was the down bunk. Now, I woke up, I slept late, I put my... So people on the up bunk, they usually use the chairs attached to our tables to climb to their bunk. That's correct, Abby. Yo, no, wait, no! It was on the table. It was on the chair, Busi. I, le I slept up and I left on the... Either it was on the chair or on the floor, I can't even remember. But I know that... You you must have jumped down and you and you stepped on the face of the laptop. It was shot, and I woke. I know that that laptop didn't fall from my bed. Was the I laptop already closed it? Was the laptop no, it was open. closed. But I think when you came now, you jumped. It hit. It you, like you stepped on the laptop. But anyways, it might also be my fault for not keeping it properly under the locker under the bed. But I I remember that day I had to cry. I had to go and look for how to fix my screen. I went to CSC building. I think they collected twenty k from my hand. That time, how much was my pocket money? Uh, you, you borrowed anyway, money from your mom. Or yeah. Uh, why why would I not borrow? So are you saw me doing all of you, those. You know. You, you, you know. So after you told me. No, well, it's okay. It's sure. not, I did not even know what was going on with the whole laptop because I was. I think I slept in this person's room. I slept mm. in Sarah and Kendi's room. No, this hundred level. I, I slept. I was no, yeah, because I did not know. I think someone came to meet me. In, I okay. slept in Ayo. So Ayo and, Ayo and Sarah were roommates, so I was in mm. their room. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. If that was meant to break, but the shirt did not break up. I see you today, so it does. <laughs> I guess it does not matter. Reminds me of my wedding day. <laughs> I think I've forgiven you, Sha, but it's okay. No wala. Anyway, so just brief recap for those that are new here. What's your journey coming to the US? Just brief recap. Like, why did you decide to come to the US? What did you do for your master's? What did you study? Um, so I came to the US in January 2020 um, for my master's in environmental engineering. Mm -hmm. Well, it was my mom that actually pushed me mm -hmm. to pursue my master's because I don't think I was too... Okay. I think I was I, I think I was a bit unserious um in university and I do, not like I was unserious. I mean <laughs> I, I knew yeah but I, I don't think I was so um ambitious. Exactly. Determined. So ambitious like 
the most of you guys but mm. my mom after we graduated she didn't want me to just be home mm. before nyse so she told me she told me to um write GRE and tofu and i did all oh. of those what yeah. did you so oh nah <laughs> no, 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 it's can't be bad. No, it's can't be. You told me I got three hundred. Yeah, I had three hundred and three. Eh, I got three hundred. I got three hundred. I think for two, I had ninety over one twenty. I think I had one seventeen for that one. Mm-hmm. Over one twenty. Was it over one? No, that's what no, the hell. Over one twenty. Or one o seven. I and wasn't at the higher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but yeah so i came for my master's and i completed that within 18 months and well it took me a while to get a job so mm-hmm. i started i enrolled in a business analysis training mm-hmm. and after i completed the training i got a job as a business analyst and mm-hmm. i've been working um as a business analyst in the u.s in the u.s yeah, okay, yeah congrats <laughs> so i switched um from environmental engineering which i studied mm-hmm. to business analysis yes as mm-hmm. this thing mm-hmm. and then how did you so now coming to your h1b how did you apply for your did you get the stem even as a business analyst oh yeah i got stem okay stem opt I, I think i used it for a month um, okay. before my before my h1b got finally approved or like before i got my h1b card Oh, so you didn't complete your two years STEM OPC? No, I only used the one. I told my company that I wanted to complete mine, and that I mean they will still file for the H one B, but that when you when I get it, I don't want it to automatically change if mm-hmm. I get it. I want it to change only when I go back to my home country to get it. So th- I think that's a pro tip actually that um if you actually want to use up your STEM OPT so that you can buy time and have your full two years STEM OPT to yourself. Um, there are two ways to change it, but you should confirm it. But what are the advantages thing. of doing that? Doesn't that just delay your process of getting um, the H one B and then like green card or it doesn't? Yes, it probably long. delays the green card too. But yeah. me, I already, I already thought it would take as long anyway. So I think it's called instant. I can't remember the right word. Is that consular? Oh God, there's one called change of status, the immediate change of status, and the second one called something consular. So I chose the consular option where I. I only want my status to change when I go back to Nigeria and when I have to come back, I have to come back on H1B than for it to immediately change. So, but I think that's what you did. So how many times did they, how did you go into the lottery before you so got your I, H1B? I, just the first time I did it, I okay. got, I got um, selected. So my company applied, I did not even know the exact, exact time they applied, but I know it was just briefly after I got my job like i was told mm-hmm. that i had gotten selected for the h1b and i didn't even know it was such a big deal because mm-hmm. i was just like well i just needed a job i felt since mm-hmm. i still had my stem opt i mm-hmm. had some time and if i didn't get selected that would be okay mm-hmm. when i got selected and yeah. i mean thank god i mean it took a while for me to even submit all my documents <laughs> they kept saying please that. so i think i submitted maybe <laughs> a week before or a day before the deadline but it took a while <laughs> i was just so lazy about what it. documents did you have to even put together for your job? There were a lot of documents, employee like, verification, and all these um transcripts, your certificates, oh. your certificate oh, yeah, from yeah. university. Yeah, um, yeah, I think I've uploaded all those too. Yeah. Just, just a, I can't remember, but I so I probably uploaded up to fifteen documents, mm-hmm. and then the long employee um form that you yes, fill. Yeah, you and, feel, yeah. I think yeah, but I, I don't, that, I yeah. just don't do so well with forms and all mm-hmm. those stuff. So, but I'm I'm glad I did. So you got it the first time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm in my. I got into Google March 2022, so I already missed that first lottery. Mm-hmm. Then 2023, this year, they put it for me. I didn't get it. So I have one more try. Then even when they did the second try in July, because, oh, yeah, of because the false, they did, I didn't know. Yeah, they had people that submitted. I had people submitted a lot of false applications. So they, they did a second round. And I, they sent me an email that I still not get it. So I have one last chance next year. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> but I'm like, if Tolu, because I didn't know. Early enough, and yeah. when I heard about it, I'm like, if Tolu got it, she would have told, told me. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't I even bother. I think it's about not to worry. Our fingers crossed. Thankfully, there are other options at Google to, you know, to navigate for work visas. Anyway, so when you got it, one next, then you scheduled um, appointment in Nigeria. What no, did no, you do? no. So when I got it, it was just. I mean, you really don't have to stamp your passport when you. You don't have to stamp the H one B visa on your passport. Mm-hmm. It's just if the stamping only allows you multiple entries into the US. US so okay. if you want to travel to other countries then it's just advisable that you stamp it so that you can always come, come back, back to the US without any problems yeah so I didn't plan to do anything about it until this year when I was just going through a lot a lot of emotional 
trauma <laughs> and mm-hmm. I just wanted to visit my family and spend some time with them. Mm-hmm. So I think this whole they thought about so they thought about um traveling came up in May, I think mm-hmm. and I think I mentioned it to you that same week that mm-hmm. I thought about it. Yeah. And so I I mentioned to my friend that oh I want to come home mm-hmm. um to stamp my visa and also because I mean since I have the H1B I might as well just uh, um use the opportunity to travel to other countries and mm-hmm. do other nice things. Mm-hmm. So I said okay I will come home visit my parents my siblings. Then so stamp. I like that you said do other nice things because we have been begging when Busi to use her money. Thankfully Busaya finally moved out. <laughs> Of her auntie's house, I moved into our own place in New Jersey. We're grateful. Now she has been she has been traveling the world. She was in Puerto Rico recently. <laughs> Woo! Give us some Spanish words. What can you say in Spanish? Come on, start. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't remember. How are you? Or but I'm so proud of you, Busi. Even now, she she came to my house with a coach bag on her arms. I'm so, so here rich. for it. Yes, I, I love to see you using your money. <laughs> and then they continue, and then you told your family. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they were um they were not so happy with the idea i mean i think they were worried because of the insecurity Mm -hmm. in nigeria and they were like oh we're not sure this is a good idea but Mm -hmm. i was adamant on um traveling so my yes my dad just said well we'll pray about it i mean Mm -hmm. they kept having i don't know for they had they had a lot of push Mm -hmm. there were lots of pushbacks and Mm -hmm. i stayed with me so when i went when i was going for my sister's wedding to my dad was saying what if before the elections they lock down nigeria you can't come back i said i will stay there because i must not be missing my sister's wedding pictures and nothing can happen you know Mm -hmm. and that's why i kept telling you that nothing will happen don't worry that they're probably just scared yeah they were they they kept saying like oh we're having dreams we're Mm -hmm. feeling this way (laughs) I actually became so worrisome yes, and I, I, I was actually getting so scared that am I going to die or do yeah. on my way to Nigeria? Yeah, exactly. it was all but like, either it was, way, you have to stamp They your... put a lot of fear. No, you don't have to stamp it in Nigeria. Like you don't, if you don't okay, plan to travel okay, out, of, out the of the US, US. Oh. you don't have to stamp. But why did you people, choose Nigeria? Okay, because you also wanted so to go I, home. Exactly. So I think the only option was Canada, and Canada was giving me 2024. That's for next date. year, April okay. next year, and I'm like, I do not want to wait till next year before. What of Mexico? I know a friend that did his. Barbados. 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 It was very risky, Shabo. He got it. <laughs> but Mexico, I think they've stopped Mexico. Oh. As a, um, so you go to the US embassy in that country to stamp your visa. Yeah, the I mean, they advised um, for you to go to the embassy where you... In your home country. Yes, in your home country where you had most of your education. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. I, I was going to take the risk with Canada, but they were not given an early date. So okay. What date did you get in Nigeria? So for Nigeria, I mean, when I checked, I think I started checking... In, May? in July, in June, mm-hmm. and I got like I saw some. I got I saw a date for like July fourth, but that was too early for me. I had not told my manager. Mm-hmm. I had not told mm-hmm. all the people that needed to know about it. And then I mean, it would have I would have had to get an expensive ticket because mm-hmm. yeah, it was, it was yes, so. exactly. So I just decided to go with um. Did you have to fill the DS one sixty all over again? Yes, yes, you I did. did. I feel the DS one sixty. Yes, oh I did, and I. Then you got a date in August. Like August twenty ninth or something. August. Not twenty. No, 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 I got Ju- July July twenty fifth. Uh-huh. 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 I know that be. I knew all your travel there. I don't even know what. <laughs> July twenty fifth, mm-hmm. which was like two days after I got home. Okay. So okay. I just went because I didn't. I was going to stay at home for two or three weeks and yeah. i didn't want to have any delays with coming back home. yeah and so i also want to find out what it's like going back to nigeria i try for nigerians that are listening during summer i don't think we have any we have 30 december but i don't know what they call summers in nigeria oh, oh yeah so, so <laughs> wait, 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 before we get i'll come back to it how was the interview process that's the most part of that it. was so um, what questions did they ask you so let me start mm-hmm. was it in abuja or lagos so i had it in lagos mm-hmm. VI, mm-hmm. and Sadly, when I was filling my DS-160 and uploading all my documents, I didn't have my passport. I didn't upload. My passport did not meet the requirement. So mm-hmm. they just stated that you should bring your physical, your um, passport. passport. Mm. And I took two copies. But when I got there, they said, oh, no, you should have uploaded, uploaded it. it. Oh my you God. cannot just... um um staple it to the documents so, so i mean those people also i felt like they wanted to scam me but mm. I, at that point me i already i had okay I, so I, it's I, just people you met outside there exactly i don't the know how, I, exactly and me I, I was just like i don't want anything to stop me from getting this visa so you listen to them yeah actually listen to them so what they now do jjc like me <laughs> hey 
So that's how they took me. Oh my god! For some reason, they took me to one place and they were like, "Oh, you have to refill the details." So they were like, "Oh, we have to print. We have to upload your passport." And then, um, thankfully, I. So the day before my visa interview, Mm -hmm. I took my passport and then asked for the soft Mm -hmm. digital copy. Mm -hmm. So. They sent it to my email. Thankfully, I didn't have to like take another passport there mm-hmm. um, in VI. Mm-hmm. But so I had to. They had to upload that passport. How did they my, go back? To they, I don't know how they do it. Those people, they have mm-hmm. their ways. Mm-hmm. But they went back to my um, yes, application. application mm-hmm. They uploaded my stuff, and then they had to change. So because so there are two different documents that have your barcode, mm-hmm. and so since I had changed, since I had uploaded my passports my mm-hmm. barcode for the other one change for one yeah. document change so we had to now do the same thing we had to change the barcode for the other documents mm-hmm. so it meant me paying for different for them um for them working on the different documents, different documents at the end yeah. i paid about fifty thousand oh my naira. god i was Sorry. so mad and and i don't think guy i did saw not, it did not. and even so oh i also did not even have my um bank I think the receipt. Like fifty thousand naira to put into perspective, maybe like fifty dollars. That's today. like fifty dollars mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, I, I planned to spend. I didn't have like I didn't really have a limit, so yeah. it was not the money was not the problem. But I knew that they were. Wow, I'm here. Yeah. No. <laughs> I knew money was not a problem. God, I see what you're doing in the life of my friends. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> I, but it was annoying that they were taking advantage of me because like, yes. you could sense that um, you do not know. They, they could sense that I know you're a very anxious person. You too. Why don't you even calm down or call somebody I was not anxious, and be like, so, so why did you just I, let them? So I, I was just like, I didn't want. I had just two weeks. My colleague, okay, okay. my colleague that traveled was delayed mm-hmm. for like a month. He could not. He went to India to do. Um, to get in the H one B stamps. Is it Nigeria? Could, no, okay, Indian. Indian, okay. And he could not come back mm-hmm. early enough. So like he. Um, even his work was on pause for a while, and I didn't want to go through that. I'm like, whatever it takes 50K. to just do, whatever it takes to just do this thing today, mm-hmm. I will do it. So why didn't when, you just go to the front of the embassy? They usually have staff there. Why didn't you go and confirm, sir? Am I supposed to attach my passport? You just allow those boys, started, and I know where they stay. Started, they are that red gate, the sand place before you cross into the embassy. By the time I started, and they just kept going and going. At that point, I actually didn't even see the price list until later, and then I just started Jesus seeing like 10k, 15, <laughs> and they tried to even add like 5k extra. And I'm like, no, I, you think I'm a fool because yeah. I've been keeping quiet since I'm not <laughs> going to pay. This is not 50, 5k, yeah. this is 50. And then when I was about to pay, they were saying, okay, you pay for POS. Yeah. I said, if you're not ready to do this, and you forget about it. I'm going into it. My I love that. <laughs> and then I, shop, I, I paid them their pay. money and I went to the Inside the no, I went, yes, yeah, I so went into the embassy. So the the guy asked me what I do. And I said, oh, I'm a business analyst. He mm-hmm. said, when did I graduate? Mm-hmm. I told him I graduated 2021 and mm-hmm. I've been working since then. Mm-hmm. And he asked me um, what company I work for. I told him, mm-hmm. I mentioned my company. Mm-hmm. He asked if I'd been home since I graduated. I said, no, he said, you know, this is not what, or you know, that is not the right way to go about it. <laughs> It and right? I said, well... Oh, are you scared? You know what I mean? For a second, I was like, huh? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, when you did your first F1 interview, did they actually ask you, do you plan to come back home? Yeah, I mean... They, they, you, you know, I didn't get that question. I was like, God, you know, if they ask this question, I'm going to pure my No, pants. I don't think... Because I don't, I don't know how to answer me. it. I don't think... I prepared for it, but they didn't ask me that. Yes, so as in, I was like, what am I going to say if they actually ask me, do you plan to come back home? They didn't ask me that. <laughs> so, I... So, when they were like, oh, but you've not been home why why is that mm-hmm. and i said well i've just been busy working mm-hmm. I, I just gave him some story and mm-hmm. he just said okay and oh um yeah i think that was all they asked me they didn't ask me lots of questions and then they not said you were and approved. so yeah and so they just um took the passport or like he just kept it and i think he gave me the blue form or something mm-hmm. i don't remember but he gave me something and said okay you'll pick it up in mm-hmm. two or three days okay, okay. And, and that, that was, was it oh and when did that come out august like what? It came out two days after, two working oh. days after. Oh, okay, wow. So Did yeah, you see other people getting so... rejected. I mean, you won't know if I mean, it's for H one B or not. Yeah, exactly. So for H one B, I didn't see other people getting rejected. Just yeah. students with F one that I saw them getting rejected. Oh my god, he actually told you that you know this is not the plan. Yeah, <laughs> like. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, I'm sure he has seen a lot of people that. So what was the answer again? You said that. You couldn't really have the time I, to come. Yes, I just yes, I said well, I, I didn't have the opportunity. I started working immediately. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What if you had not said, but you were never supposed to get a job? What would you not have said? I was actually at that point. Oh my God. <laughs> I was already kabash. I said, look. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I 
why I was very confident and like I, you know, yeah. where you have to be confident, yeah. look at them. Yes, blah, blah, yes. Blah, blah, blah. Did you, did you do any mock interviews for you when talking? Oh yeah. So my my employer um had okay okay an interview prep with me the night before. Okay. I mean, okay. they, they made me feel confident in the way. Like, Busami, yeah. you already have this thing. Yeah. There is a very low probability that you have any problem. So you mm. just go there knowing that you've gotten it. Gotten it. Oh, I see. So, so it's that's true. They've already approved it from the mm-hmm. US. Okay, yes, okay, so they've already sense. approved it from the US. I remember that if I get mine. But when yes, you that, get it. Uh, if. Yeah. <laughs> if. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You have to prepare for the worst. Anyway. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Next question. So what would you say were the nice things of going back home during summer? I know you told, you told me about your issue with a driver. I know uh, you're... It's true. They also treated her like a queen, hired driver for her. I had well, I paid for all of we that. We even went shopping. I, I, went, I followed you shopping when you were going to buy gifts to take to your to family. Me, oh yeah. So it was a grand, oh, yeah. was a grand coming yeah, back home. Yeah, it was. Because that was my first time visiting. <laughs> in three years. Yeah, mm-hmm. since, I, since I came to the US. Mm-hmm. It was nice. I mean, my mom didn't want me to come in July. She wanted me to come she wanted me to visit in mm-hmm. December because mm-hmm. she's like, oh, nice, more people will be around. Yeah. Your friends will be around in true, December. True. December is a nice time. There mm-hmm. are things happening then, but um, July, nothing's really happening. Mm-hmm, yeah. Your friends are not there. Mm-hmm. And all of that. But I mean, I just wanted, I just didn't want to wait for that long yeah. to visit. So I said, it doesn't matter. Would you say would that be... going home helped your emotional trauma? <laughs> yeah, just spend it. Was it, it, it took none of uh, <laughs> it. Was but it me, yeah, it, it, but so it helped me think about other things aside what was stressing me out here. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, just the joy that came with seeing my siblings yeah. and my parents it mm-hmm. was it was good mm-hmm. i mean um i was stressed out mm-hmm. and i was just like oh. what's stressed I mean, you things, my, no, my, no, my, we don't my, have power outage i mean there's power outage in nigeria oh yeah Traffic, so we had we had things. no so things like we had the gen so i already okay. made provision generator, like, so power we had the generator gen, for, mm-hmm. for non and the traffic <laughs> yeah and the traffic was not that bad i mean i didn't okay. go out so so Too much, much. Okay. so um yeah but um so i i mean my just my mom mm-hmm. being a mom yeah and just doing some things that i thought we left behind Hi, a while a while ago it's like i'm like mommy are you still doing this and like we had like maybe one one or two arguments mm-hmm. and i was just like nah i just i didn't come home to be stressed or mm-hmm. to get upset i just mm-hmm. wanted some peace i peace just wanted to be happy yeah. and i invested so much in this trip to yeah. now come and how much did you well, how how much on average did you say you spent in dollars going home everything minus flight tickets minus yeah minus like how much did you spend while you were in nigeria when i was in nigeria i spent I think I spent up to one k, one thousand dollars. Yes, okay. and Which it was just like, like a two week, um, trip. two weeks trip. Yeah, I spent okay. up to one k. Okay. Maybe I think I spent one five, and I spent a month. I didn't go out too much too. But I spent well, minus wedding expenses, but yeah, their flight ticket was like how much? Two k to go and come mm-hmm. during summer. Mm-hmm. And you booked it in less than three months, have you? Yes, I booked it like That's maybe cheap. a month or six, six weeks before. Okay, yeah, actually, so. no, it's not cheap because people who book out get it for that amount i think mm-hmm. i don't know and then like the gifts and everything so everything yeah. i spent would have i think everything amounted to about four thousand four thousand hey just or like go three five or four k wow and if three, even five. okay let's never convert it to naira but <laughs> <laughs> but anyway <laughs> but okay and then would you say like in my own house now i when i went home in december i still had to go for money devotion although my funny enough the oh, sunday I, I spent they didn't force me to go to church i even woke up and i saw that they had left me i said wow is this what it means to make like, money I, I remember, and come back I remember home. they didn't force me to go to church, church. yeah they, and then my father asked me and i said oh yes timmy is taking me to cci reboot camp and then i also noticed that when it was time to cook they will not look for me like oh that one that, yeah, that I was, was like wow I didn't have to wash any plates. I was like, I'm here for it. My mom was okay, serving me. I'm like, I'm ah, They kept me in the so our AC in my in the girls' room upstairs wasn't working. Oh, no. So my sisters are split. Me and my sisters are split between two rooms. I sleep in the younger ones, and then Timmy and Titi sleep in the other room. So the AC is not working in one of them. They not kept me in the visitors room. They had cleaned it. My sisters even I have a painting from my baby sister. I used to have it on my wall. 
that welcome home. They put Hollandia for me, and you know they like it. I was like, like oh, my yeah. mom, my mom, I can go back and get water. Oh. Oh. So like, oh, we've done all of these things yeah. for you. Oh, but, yeah. Um, church, I was actually they oh, yes. go for Monday. Oh, I actually wanted to. Like, mm -hmm. I, I actually looked forward to praying with mm -hmm. my because I like when yeah. I like praying with my dad. My mm -hmm. my dad's a pastor, and I know. I know. Um, and he has prayed for me, guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Before his prayers are working. Oh, yes, they are working. No, hallelujah. <laughs> So I actually looked forward um, mm. to praying together and going to church. Like mm -hmm. if, in fact, I'm like, oh, dad, when are we going for prayer meeting and all mm -hmm. of this? I just missed that vibe. I miss because it's just different here. Like the mm -hmm. prayer meetings here mm -hmm. are not. I, I don't know. know. It just feels different. different anyway, so I just wanted all of that. I wanted it. I went. I know that. I went to. So my dad was moved to another church, and mm -hmm. when I went there, I had not met those people before. It was mm -hmm. they really welcomed me. They were so yeah. happy. Like oh, we've heard so many things about you. Oh. Finally, we're meeting you. And what should they attempt? Those First Christ Gospel know. Church. Once you put and Jesus then, Christ is the Savior. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ is baptized with the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. Great physician uh -huh. and some communicator. Mm -hmm. Say it for your people. <laughs> <laughs> Church. Um, I, yeah, mm -hmm. so they were all welcoming, so happy to see me. So it was good. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, the last, I didn't even have clothes. I don't think I planned my triple. Like, it was, I think it was That's the true, day. Because I even that you day. went to Hilda Bassi's restaurant. I was like, oh, yes. what is Busai wearing to a whole Guinness World Record? That's record and that, that was in the <laughs> after my visa interview. Okay, okay. So that was, so I wore, that was the, um... Outfit I wore to the interview. And yeah, you look I, so stressed. Then, I had a face cap on. I was like, after no, that day, day, I did not have a face cap the day I went to Hilda. Okay. But I had remember a black outfit. My mom sent me a and I was like, Busi, so, after all the killing, I, I did not plan, I did the not plan my outfit. I thought you well. go to the you have to There are some things I planned to wear and I did not even wear them. I just yeah. brought everything back. I don't know. I, I feel like. Maybe it's because there was nobody to see. Maybe, Maybe that I don't know, no old friends. That's it's actually it's crazy. only Shubomi I saw. Okay, that's true. It's yeah, crazy and... that we don't have old friends anymore. Mm -hmm. So, mm. but um, so I didn't have like church outfits. I had to start looking for what to wear, and then mm. my the, when I brought out, so I think I had three Sundays in church, or is mm -hmm. it two Sundays? I think three. Maybe mm -hmm. just so I don't remember. But the Sunday before I left, I didn't have anything to wear. Mm -hmm. And I had this sleeveless dress. And my dad said, Oh, don't you want to wear a jacket? I said, I don't have a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here yeah. in the US, I don't yeah. need to wear a jacket. Yeah. I mean, going Wait, to church with this. He said that your sport, your no, change. No, no, he didn't say that. He just said, Okay, maybe your mom will have one for you. My mom and I are not the same size. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, I, and my mom was like, what does that mean? Please, you don't need any jacket. What oh, I love that. My I mom was that. fighting for me, but <laughs> because I'm I'm an understanding child, mm. so I, I didn't want... Yeah. I just went to look for a scarf that I wrapped around my shoulder. Yeah. My mom was like, I don't like the way you're dressing. You're not giving it to us, this and that. Yeah. But <laughs> I just don't want to for the win. Even when I brought out my red wig, because I had asked my starter of me buy wig before I came. My mom now said, Ah, which one is this one again? I mean, me, I don't use to tie scarf with anybody. Even since we're children, they used to beat me for always removing my heart. <laughs> I used to remove my heart and then I would put Capri Sun and biscuit that they gave us since then. Because mm. my own family, you have to bring it back to the house to show them that this is what they gave you in church. Yeah. So, anyway, so me, I never even send anybody shot. But another question. So, would you say that your family builds you? Okay, not your family, you're like other people build you. like when they always asking you, what, Sister Bussy, what do you bring for oh, us? Oh, no, no, no. I, I feel like I plan for everyone. Okay. I mean, every person that I, I knew I was going to miss. Like, my dad, even the church members, I bought Bath and Body Works mm. soap cream mm -hmm. for them. Yeah, and for um maybe some adults that I knew I was going to, I bought stuff for them. Mm -hmm. So, I think I planned to give something to everyone. Yeah. And I didn't meet so many people, honestly. I, I didn't meet so many people. My parents were trying to protect me and not yeah. make me go out too much or meet so many people. Yeah. Um, and would you... Would you say you were also tipping people when you went to all these restaurants? I'm right, my sister used to insult me. Oh, yes, when I went, when I went to wash my hair. So, but the tip was not a lot. When I went to wash my hair, I think it was like... 500, Maybe, maybe 1K to wash eh? hair. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, because they did some, they put some stuff, and mm -hmm. I gave her five hundred as tip. She, mm -hmm. she saw me another day on the road. I said, yeah. "Thank you so much for that." I'm like, I'm like, what is five? Yeah, I mean, it's I not know. Even me too. I remember but... then. I even I, I had spread so much money. I had withdrawn so much money to spare at my sister's wedding. So I still had new notes. I remember any time I would go out or when I took my sister's restaurant, I would leave like maybe two five hundred naira notes in the waiters thing, mm -hmm. like to tip them. And it's like, as they are, I was God that blessed. So that's the blessing of that point. My sister would kept saying, "What are you?" Do. Like Titi, like what is this? Like when did all this one start? That what they do? That special exactly. for this thing? But yeah, and it's mm -hmm. funny that because actually now it makes so it's not as if we actually don't want to tip in the US. We just feel 
like they should earn it. I think maybe that's my yeah, wish. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, here you can't just if you tip them like three dollars, they are looking at you like, exactly. what are you giving? No, so they are they're expecting to tip like 10, 15, 10, 20. 15, exactly. And, that's not and even I'm even like, like my my food is already expensive. Exactly. My, by the time I start tipping all of this, bill exactly. is very And I'm tipping one thousand in comparison to how much exactly. I've spent, like exactly. almost hundred k, eighty k, exactly. So yeah, I so, go, and they are still so grateful. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but the plan was to like visit a lot of restaurants, eat yeah. all the nice things that. Do you still Instagram. go to slow? And I used no, to send I your ghost. To. I sent you all those sent me. But so uh, you know, I lost my dr- like I I didn't have my driver anymore after oh, okay. week one. So oh, I I, I, I was going to say I had a driver. That's so. <laughs> I, I, actually, I actually spent exactly because I wanted to be comfortable and I didn't want because I know my mom is quite protective and mm-hmm. she was like oh if you want to go out then you will need to have a driver, driver to move use around Uber. exactly because she she didn't want to um leave me with Uber mm-hmm. or to Uber so I had the driver but after some days he just said oh he has um he uh-huh. had other appointments to deal with me too. Uber driver so, should be pepe. sorry mm-hmm. sorry finish but I was able to complete my so I went I learned how to drive because you did yes I went to driving school so the oh, the driver your... took me. License for you. No, kid. they think I, I, I only <laughs> went for ten days, oh. and I, I think I only six practical lessons yeah. and four theoretical lessons. Did you do manual lessons before the automatic? Too? No, I didn't learn manual. I'm not interested. Six oh. lessons. How many things? Even they that really sixth one. Manual, that though. sixth one was the day before. I think that was the day I saw Shubum that went to the island. So I okay. didn't even. My mind was not there. Yeah. Hmm, I see. Do you know when I even did mine? I got my license in February. I did my clutch, the clutch lessons automatic, but then pandemic happened in March, so I could not drive anywhere so i don't think i still have it in me to mm. learn to drive anyway. yeah and i thought okay so because there were like three different drivers that taught me and one kept saying you don't even know how to drive how do i said please i just want to learn the basics when i go back my friend will teach me so the plan was oh, i'll return here yeah and my friend will teach me how to drive even mm. though we're yet to learn but i'm hoping that well the plan was to get my driving my to license. do the test and get license do you plan to get a car in new jersey soon no i don't plan to drive in new jersey <laughs> i just do not see the need i feel like i'm not going to maximize using the, the car yeah, exactly and you have to be paid like, for it every month exactly and like if i'm driving if i'm using um trains to work why do i need a car Can't i only know. need a car to to do um, trips or drive or sh- groceries yeah go to church and i feel like that's another level of adulthood we need to unlock maybe we need to leave the city like to be able to drive to places exactly. like so not be dependent you know, on the train that two hour trip is also it's, exactly it's because because time, the quality of my life sometimes like, when if i'm going to work <laughs> and i see that oh this is a one hour 30 minutes commute mm-hmm. with public transport if i'm driving to one hour i don't know oh, why i want to stress exactly so oh. i don't know why i want to stress myself driving for one minutes. hour yes and, I think they are still more. And fresh, sometimes uh, when I'm driving, when, if I'm on um, on the train, I'm able to sleep and mm-hmm. just wait till like, I get my stop. But if I'm driving, I have to be attentive the whole time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. For me, I, I would just rather use public transport to work. Mm-hmm. But you know, I'm also considering moving to Texas, so mm-hmm. maybe. Okay. okay she's I mean, telling I, the folks. I love it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, once the I, I, I once or twice considered moving to when Texas. Texas. Um, either Dallas or Houston. Hmm. So if I move to Texas, I know I will need to drive, which was why I decided to learn how to drive wow. and also get my license. Not that because, yeah, I, I do not plan to get a car in um, New Jersey. Yeah. I, Mr. I don't even know what I think about this getting a car yet because I'm still in New York. But yeah, I'm just like, it's not necessary <laughs> for now. Yeah. And I also do not think I, en- I will enjoy driving that much. So if I really do not need to drive, I don't want to drive. Okay. Well. I guess those are all my questions. I was, I think I also had just to share about my own going home. This December, I plan to, because since I, we're not going back home, I'm, I don't really have any plans. I want to do a recap of my trip to Nigeria, post mm-hmm. reels from my sister's wedding, hopefully if I get around to it anyway. But, but you never you never had a podcast on your travel back home, did you? Like, I didn't post any no, episode. You, yeah. No, no, I did not. Mm-hmm. I did not. So this is me also sharing my own experience. I think for me, the, my worst experience that even ubers like they'll be telling me please ma um you need we need cash we are not taking card trip i'm like what you know all those things like this i'm like How, where where do you want me to get I Naira cash we from join almost every day every, every day, day yeah, i was so still, things were so expensive when i went things were so expensive i'm like <gasps> and and things, i actually yeah. when i when i went 
when I returned to the US, I had to call one or two people that I know support their families. And I yeah. told them that, oh, I think you will need to increase how much you are sending home because yeah. things are really expensive. So yeah. if you think $150 or $200 is doing a lot, it's really not doing no, so much. Right. Because, like, I was spending how much every day. Yeah. Like, the first day I went, I only went to get maybe mouthwash mm-hmm. and some toiletries. And mm-hmm. I spent how much at ShopRite. Yeah. Like, I, I just got very few items but i spent so much and like yeah. even going to eat mm-hmm. or just a loaf of bread being one thousand mm-hmm. i'm like yeah. okay so things are things are like Do you triple know in price. price yeah and when i went Compared actually to... exchange was still like 700 700 and something and i remember the first time i changed money and i saw like one million my account i was like wow i don't have my oh, mm-hmm. wow i've never seen this amount in my in mm-hmm. my account before even no, before no. i left nigeria i think well i mean oh, i don't, did don't but i used to always guys. move my money oh, i moved no no, no. Saving i was anyway. saving so obviously mm-hmm. that's a savings account but not in an account where i'm going to be spending from yeah. so of course it felt it felt good but and even one day i went to the supermarket i went to go and buy super two and then some other biscuits and i think i'm seeking pick lemon or something instead of vanilla and i went to go and exchange and the woman looked at me and say in pigeon she said you look like say you'll be one of these IJGBs. where you think say you did you better look well you know for exchange for this place really? you cannot exchange yes i actually me too what was i thinking that i could exchange i could Why go back and exchange and have you gone home no but I paid for it then i got i got <laughs> Exchange. <laughs> no, I was like, please, can I actually? I think I wanted to refund it, not even exchange. Oh, the okay. Flavor. So and then she now said that the way she even said it, usually I'd have been angry, but when she said that, wait, can you remember where you are? That you cannot refund it. It was even hilarious to me that I forgot to be angry. It was mm-hmm. so funny. But, <laughs> but anyway, I think for me, I think going home was fun until after like two weeks after two weeks well, after, after my sister's week. wedding okay no the first week i came we all said me and my son went to go and do our nails you know i was taking my sisters out we did manicure pedicure after that one week like, my father would go out he would buy suya from suya bistro in spa he would come back and say i bought this for you because i know he likes suya he came mm-hmm. he bought turkey for me they were always buying me all my favorite my shortbread all these my favorite things mm-hmm. i was like hey you don't want me to come back home every month. I said, <laughs> after two weeks, by after Christmas, even Christmas, and my mom was asking me that I want you to make jollof rice for me. <laughs> I said, uh, I thought, uh, please, even though I was like, the even my I did it, because I got to Nigeria December 9th. Even I remember that my father, if you see the way he was looking for me, like I was a child that had not come home. So when you're queuing out, you know, the queue is so long, he was just looking for me. Mm. He was not telling one guy, that's my daughter, no. that's my daughter. I think I even cried. I was like, oh, that's you that's guys. Amazing. My mom had apologized that she would have followed my dad to come pick me, but she needed to be home. They won't ask me what I wanted. Ah, no, it was, it was really beautiful. Everyone, everyone the was that week. Days. Yeah, and I yeah got everybody took me. I, I, I got, got home by like almost 2 a.m. I yes. got home by 1 Exactly. My dad, my mom, and the driver came to pick me up. And then exactly. my sister and my brother were awake. And my sister just kept looking at me. She kept saying, Won't mm-hmm. you hug me? And then I hug her. I said, yeah. That hug is not enough. No. Don't oh, you miss Oh, everything like, was like, you, you, I kept touching my sisters. I used to say, Try to touch me. I'm like, I said, I even my baby said, I was like, can I sleep with you in the guest room tonight? No, it was it was very beautiful. I think I eventually cried. Then it was like, okay, she, my mom was like, no, you don't have to open your boxes. And I know you brought a lot of things. I had extra, I paid for extra. Sure, you followed me to the airport that day. I paid mm-hmm. for yeah, extra, extra luggage. Extra luggage. Just like, oh, she just said, don't worry, you don't have to open And you still paid for like, over. Over. <laughs> You're not as they've ordered all their Christmas gifts, you know. So anyway, but yeah, it was it was definitely a beautiful film. But after that Christmas, I remember when I even went for Chiki's concert. So my parents gave me the driver that day to to go to take me because you know they said that Uber can kidnap me that there's no book or no these excuses that they always give us. Mm-hmm. So the the driver said it us that whole day. Shall I shall settle the man and give him food and give him one K like or is it two K seven? I settled him. Thank you for staying with us the whole day. Then my parents, they didn't, they were, I was like, I was telling my dad, ah, they're not calling us, maybe they're not angry. Because usually, pre, coming to this country, my coffee was 8 p.m. Mine was 7. Even the day I came home at 10. My, my mom punished me. me. <laughs> <laughs> my mom punished me, she almost beat me. Like, my sister, my sister was actually crying. I said, mommy, please, eh? please. He slapped my father again. He said that whose house, as long as you're inside my house, cannot come back. They my mom told me, me frog jump, different yeah. things. She, she actually, Sorry, she was going to beat me. Understand you probably think that our parents should be in jail, but that's the life we live. We live though. <laughs> yeah. 
So she the one who calling me. You should have seen me, my sister, anxiety. And she can not come out until like eleven. So mm-hmm. I think I think my parents were just like, hmm, let's see what this our children will do. So at the end of the day, we came back with the drive around to one a.m. Wow. around one a.m. with our hat in our throat, having <laughs> our mouth. We opened the door. My mom and funny enough, usually Hello, my father that is angry. Hello, but I think my right? father, no, just me and Titi. I think my father actually respected me. Even when I came, he was not really demanding that I knew them because my own house we I knew on two nails to greet them mm-hmm. and me all too. those things. So my mom, I knew that if I know this, she would tell me that is it because you have a job I go or what she would tell you that what happened to your two nails that you cannot so I said I beg, I will still be kneeling down. If I hear her voice, I'm ready on her knees. So now when she opens the door, I'm 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 ready kneeling to greet her. But anyway, I came, we came out from that chicken concert. That's time they asked my mother asked me to come to the parlor. <laughs> I was not waiting for my father to come and start shouting. I was like, what can they shout that my head? But eventually he now said, Why were you pull why were you pull late? You don't don't you know Nigeria? My mother now started. That why will you be coming back up around this time? That what ungodly activity <laughs> did you go for? That I mean my mom, like this was said they're insulting again. Look at me fully dressed. <laughs> at least she, I'm like I even went with a sling bag. So it's not as if I packed extra clothes or I went to go and do a shower walk. But mm-hmm. I went with my younger sister. Exactly. Like, and it's like, you it's, it's actually, I was like, you're so insulting. So that's when you think about it. And that's when I started keeping quiet at home. Because that, that thing actually pissed me off. Even though I was expecting it, but I was hoping they would not do, mm-hmm. do you get. It actually pissed me off. Even then, we also went out. I went out with my sisters to Gusto. We went to have dinner. They were just calling and calling and calling. I said, Jesus, this is, this is so embarrassing. Remember my mom told me that if you think that's how you, if that's what you used to do in New York, you cannot do it in this house. So <laughs> that if you want to stay, if you, when you're in New York, you can stay out late, past I mean, midnight. That's what you want, and I'm like, so wait midnight. Am I staying? Even even here when it's eleven, I'm even already tired that I want to be going to my house. Why can't people just trust the daughter that you've raised? But that's another conversation for another day. Let's never <laughs> let's never go there. <laughs> my God, anyone advice for anyone going home to re- to renew their travel their hit one visa? What would, what would it be in general? Money, financially, family wise. Be prepared for everything. <laughs> For all the billings, for all yeah. all the expensive stuff you are going to yeah. purchase, and just for all the people that will get you upset, just be prepared for mm. everything and try to have fun. I mean, yeah. I'm glad that I did not allow the annoying times ruin mm. the whole experience. Sure. I still try to be happy and just mm. even though my mom was like, "Oh, you cannot do this," so mm. when my driver left, I could not go to the island yeah. or do other things but sure. i mean thank you thankfully, for helping me bring my stuff thankfully <laughs> my thankfully shubomi came to pick me up mm-hmm. so i still tried to just be, stay happy until mm-hmm. i left and mm-hmm. i mean i'm not going back till hopefully maybe mm-hmm. two years i mean i don't know god's plans but mm-hmm. left me i won't want to go back next year because uh, <laughs> I, I, know. I just need a break <laughs> i need a break I need Ew, a my break. mom right now but actually that's good i need some time off <laughs> Go home off. for two weeks. Let the love just be online. What's Honestly, love and you know that's what they say: the best type of relationship with your fa- fa- parents is long distance. My mom is uh, hey. still treating mm. me so special when I'm away, but when I'm there, you're yeah. already you have stunned to, to insult. Exactly. I'm like, what is up? I know. Even my even I, honestly, I remember. And that day, even when I went to the restaurant, because I'm a good person, I even still brought food for them. Even my son was saying that maybe they were jealous that I did not take them out. And actually, I was trying to take them out for New Year's, like my own parents. But that thing that they did, that shouting that they shouted. I vexed. I said I'm not. Even I was even moving. I was. I came back to the US on January seventh. I even wanted to come back January second. I was going to move my flight up. I was. Want to change your? I was concerned. I almost moved my flight. But I knew that it would have made things mm. more awkward. Yes, and just true. Some, I, yeah, I just said now, nah, just manage. It's just not like they killed me or anything. Yeah, or did so anything I'm just bad. like now. Nah. You're right. I will just manage and. Ah, but at least I was. Meet. I was really happy with time I spent with my sisters. Even my son that was getting married then. I remember when she eventually left. I was like, so you mean it's only one week I'll see you? You're already going to your husband's house. I can't he tell you to wait till the end of the year with us? Is that not like? Is that how it works? That they will marry and immediately <laughs> yes, you will leave the house? <laughs> it was so sad. I felt like I hadn't really seen her for a while, you know. Although I, at least I'm happy that I went out with her time with Tammy, then my other sister, my younger sister, even my baby sister now. I remember some night she would come and say that she wants to stay with me. And I'm like, I'm walking because I had to keep walking from mm-hmm. the US, you know. But I miss the day. I wish I'd never even sent her out because now I miss them, you know, mm-hmm. so much. Even this year, my mom was like, I want you come. That why do you put like acting like you don't like us? I said, No, it's not like we don't like you people, or we don't like the house, but I need a break. And to now start thinking of how to spend another three k, I was going to say that. The and then to go home for only goes, one week, I don't exactly. Think the investment it. that goes into it for like a week or two weeks, and then you 
I, at some point, I felt like I wasted a lot of money because yeah. I was like, I was regretting the trip at some yes. point. But yeah. I'm still glad I got to yeah, see me everyone. Too. Me too. I'm still, yeah, it def- I'll that, definitely that was say, really important. Yes, and I'm happy to I thank God for provision. I, mm. I remember I had a whole list, almost even a book of all the people I wanted to give things in church. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy I was able to give them, even if it was lip My balm. box, I had like a full box, yes. or even like one and a half. So, yes. like, even. My, I didn't have it. That's why I didn't have a lot of clothes. I actually didn't pack a lot of clothes. Mm. I didn't have space to take clothes. Yeah. Almost, I think almost two boxes. Mm. One for my family, then like for people also. So yeah. just, um, yeah, but yeah, it was, well, so I guess the advice is still go home, but prepare or spend shorter time. I think after two weeks, the wine begins to get sour, yeah. uh, you know, so, or something. Or like yeah, the sweetness just, begins to turn sour after some point. Like, you know, after survival, I was just staying in my room. Like, I'm like, nobody should come and look for me. I would always tell them that I'm walking, I'm online. Like, please you know and also there's something my dad did i remember you know everybody just says oh she works at google that where do you work you know my father sat me that i really wanted to know what i did at google what i did for them and i, I found I, that was one of the highlights of my trip for some weird reason actually i just felt like wow he was actually very interested he wanted to know so what are your career growth patterns i mean my mom too she i mean she asks but you know the way my dad acts was, was very deep and then when they saw me off to the airport of course i still cried you know both of them saw me off to Eric. <laughs> You were really ready to go. Oh, no, so that day oh again, my, my mom and I were having some issues. Yes, yeah, so oh my I was God. just like, nah, I'm out of here. Oh my God. But I was also not feeling too good. I had some. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was grateful that, you know, and it made me realize that, wow, I was going back to my new home in New York, mm-hmm. you know, that well, I'm not even just, before you should remember, both of my parents sent me off, it's like, you're done, you're, they're returning you to school, they're dropping you off at school, but now they were actually dropping me off to go back to my mm-hmm. actual life. life, I was like, mm-hmm. that, I think it, that's when it really dawned on me that, okay, I'm now one of those women in their late 20s that live alone, mm-hmm. or have left their parents' houses, mm-hmm. that we used to look at and be like, when would they marry, that's now me, that's now oh, us, oh, Lord. <laughs> you know where you're at, yeah, so, so yeah, of course it was it was beautiful. I think me, I know I think the same advice I have, my, if I had any advice to do what you said to definitely be prepared and maybe spend shorter time. I mean, but who am I to tell you how much time you spend with your family? Of course, budget well. And then if yeah, you have exactly. friends to see, you should actually plan it out. I wish I planned that more often. Although because a lot of people were actually around. At least and shout out to all my cosmates who came for my sister's wedding, you know. They were all there to celebrate, but I wish I planned to see people more and actually spend more time with them and i feel like even when you go people expect you to always pick up the bill which is nice you know? oh i actually can i for everyone that went out with i did you that. paid so that, that, yeah. I feel, I, so maybe it's not like okay, also had a lot of why are you doing so i remember she booms so the bill was actually a lot daddy because I, she also didn't have her documents her card documents oh, so okay, the police okay. stopped us ah. and we had to pay like so a lot okay. of yeah so i had oh to pay um, i felt bad no, she came to pick me. Yeah. so she came to pick me and I, I just i was just like okay i'm just going to pay but i already planned that whoever i was going to see i, would, mm. I was going to pay, pay because I, I feel like in nigeria i mean even even people that are doing well yeah. they are still trying to manage their finances yeah. but i feel like for me, because I earn in dollars, and oh. when I convert, I didn't think Naira, of it like that too. I because Naira, actually, I and I also felt like I was, was spending very... naira in Nigeria, and I I went with a budget. I was like, I can't. No, I'm no, not changing I, I more than that. I uh, me had a budget too. I'm All the like, money I changed. I'm just, I'm just spending. Did I even? Me, I feel like I can say this here. I borrowed money from you to book my first leg of the flight because I was still. I had just um started okay no, i actually had not started work but i think with rent i hadn't really balanced how i was going to do my finances so i was like okay i'm expecting this money i didn't want to remove some from some savings okay let me ask and then and thank you too for giving me so at that point i was like i need to keep money for my january rent that was coming yeah, true. i yeah, need I to keep i was i had a i was like i cannot every money was budgeted for and i felt like if you were doing well in nigeria you should be able to afford your own meal i'm, I'm well you're right i should have paid because i paid for my own sister them. I felt like okay, if I'm inviting you out, I won't spend time with you. But I mean, I know just... this. Amer- even my mother too told me that America started getting to me. Even the way, even when you, <laughs> we're really early now. That's alone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I was supposed to help you bring stuff, and I was like, Mom, but where will I put it? Like I was already bringing all my. I brought, you know me. I took so many clothes, and I never have space coming back. And I already brought more things. She mm-hmm. was like, No, that that's not how Nigerians behave. That you will still. I know. Answer. She now told me that you're becoming like all this um American. Okay, no offense to anybody's nationality, <laughs> but that you're supposed to be this, you're supposed to be that. Yeah. Ah, but you're right. Maybe next time I remember to pick up people's bills. I mean, but yes, no offense. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, this brings us to the end of our episode. I hope you guys enjoyed listening. Thank you so much, Busayo, mm-hmm. for.
coming here. Do you have any Welcome. other sign out? Peace the people, out. Peace nothing. out. <laughs> she said nothing. Okay, we hope you have a great week ahead. Yeah. And if you get the, I hope for as many of you who are hoping for the H1B, I hope yeah. we get it. Mm-hmm. And you know, yes, uh, we are rooting for you in your non immigrant student journey as well. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell your friend, tell your friend, support tell the show. Friend. Exactly. What else? What else should they do? And share on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And yeah, download. We love you. And always remember that if we can do it, you can do it too. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>